The CDC released data showing sexually transmitted diseases are spreading rapidly in the U.S., and it's a problem that we are seeing here in New Mexico. Gabe Salazar spoke with local health officials who say an old drug may help with a new rise in cases. The latest report by the CDC says there's a total of more than two and a half million cases of SCDs in the U.S. in 2021, with no signs of slowing. Dr. Tracy Carlson says New Mexico is seeing the same trend. I do know that a lot of New Mexico is medically underserved, so I might guess that people don't have great access to get treatment in a, in a timely manner when they do have an illness. CDC data shows New Mexico has the fifth highest rate of chlamydia, the sixth highest rate of gonorrhea, and the sixth highest rate of syphilis in the U.S. The CDC says the nationwide trend is a result of less people using condoms, poor sex education, and less people testing for STIs during the pandemic. Talk with their health care providers and... Uh... And they might want to bring up this DoxyPep study and see what their own doctor thinks and whether it would be a good idea for them. Dr. Carlson is referring to an old drug, a cheap antibiotic that's been around for more than 50 years that could be used as sort of a morning after pill to prevent STIs. Doxycycline is an antibiotic, so it works against a variety of bacterial illnesses. Uh, as far as sexually transmitted infections, we usually use it to treat chlamydia but it's also a second line treatment for syphilis. New CDC data shows that it decreases the risk of all sexually transmitted diseases. It's still preliminary data. There's still a lot of study going on, but I think it's really an exciting finding. Gabe Salazar, KOB4.